So this story I'm about to tell you is very, very interesting. It involves our education system. And the story is out of Baltimore. Amazing work by the Fox affiliate Project Baltimore in Baltimore. And I want to know if this is happening in your school district. So I want you to message me. But I want to explain what we're talking about here. Stick with me. Go ahead, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's really important. Hit subscribe right down there because I will bring you all the news as I get it. Real, unbiased, holding the government officials and officials accountable. So let's go into this. Let's dig into this right now and show you what's going on. And this this is really disturbing stuff. Take a look at this. This article coming from our Baltimore station, WBFF, reporter Chris Pabst. It's called Project Baltimore. They investigate the schools. And you can find this link to this story at midmichigannow.com. I have a link to it in the description of this video. And this is disturbing. Um, a Baltimore student graduates high school without learning to read. So the student was able to graduate high school without learning to read. How is that even possible? What's going on with the school districts? What's going on with the education system? I know many of you are going to say it has to do with parents. Parents are obviously a big part of this as well. If this is happening in your district, let me know, and I would like to investigate. I would like to do some stories about this. If you have documentation, if you are working in the schools and you would like to send me some documents, go ahead. And I would love to do stories on this because this is the failure of I don't know, everyone? Reports exposed how Baltimore high school students are far behind. Now, one woman shared her story as a Baltimore City student who graduated from high school without learning how to read. Now, this woman, Deborah Prestilio, is 41 years old. She's a 1999 graduate of Patterson High School. 23 years later, she still struggles to read. She says, quote, it's embarrassing sometimes. She said, going into stores, like if I go into Walmart, I have to ask for help. Sometimes people laugh at me. She has a learning disability caused in part by a hearing impairment that wasn't addressed until recently. She's partially deaf, which severely impacted her ability to learn. So the story goes on, and you're looking at her high school transcript right here. Let me bring this up higher. In 10th grade, she earned a 78 or a C plus in uh, English. OK. And her English score dropped to a 62, English to a 68, which I believe is a D. So you can pass with that. And it says right here, her quote, they passed me. They just passed me to get to. They just passed me along to get me out of school. They knew I didn't know how to read. They knew I didn't know how to do a lot of stuff, but they didn't care. So that's the uh, story right here in the school district. You can read more about the story, like I said, by going down to midmichigannow.com. And this woman is saying that she is probably not the only one in the Baltimore School District uh, that this has happened to. This is Baltimore City High School students. But the question is, I want to know, is this happening in our community? Did this happen to you when you were going to school? Did the school system fail you? Um, did society fail? Was it the parents? Like I said, I'm not passing any judgment. I'm not giving my opinion. That's not my job to do. My job is to investigate and to look into this. And if this is happening in Michigan, I would like to look into it. I want to know what is going on with the educational system. And, you know, many of you could say that it's the parents' fault, it's the school's fault, it's society's fault. I'm not saying any of that. I am just want to know what all of you think, and I want to know how to fix the problem. So if you have any ideas, let me know if you have any, if you were like this woman and went through the school system and you felt failed, let me know. Or if your child is having major issues and they're passing your child through school when they shouldn't be, let me know. Um, I'm all about, you know, holding the powerful accountable. That's what we're about and being unbiased and giving depth and perspective. So you can actually watch this story by going to midmichigannow.com and uh, in midmichigannow.com type in Baltimore schools. Or on this video, I have a link in this video where you can actually learn more uh, right there. So thank you, everyone, very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you soon.